my columnist on surviving the dreaded dance-off and why the Argentine tango makes her cry I had the highest highs and the lowest lows in Blackpool. Being in the dance-off after performing in those amazing group routines was like being thrown down to the floor. My heart sunk when they announced our names. It's a very heavy feeling. I knew that. I couldn't have done it any better so it was a case of going out there and having fun. From Johnny's Peacock farewell speech I think that everyone can see what a lovely guy he is. We made friends on the very first day when I asked him if he wanted to pair up in practice. He's been so successful and strictly and he's an inspiration, whether you're disabled or not. The samba wasn't my best dance, it's the one that the professionals don't like as much either, because the technique is so tough. We didn't have a big production number like some of the others and our Spice Girls theme was gimmicky. My costume wasn't exactly glamorous, though. Saying that it looks much better off camera than on. It's covered in all these beautiful crystals that you can't really see on TV. Blackpool was like we'd been let out of school. We were all staying in the same hotel and at breakfast everyone was there. The conditions backstage at the tower ballroom, however, are challenging. I take my hat off to the crew because they had to roll up all these enormous rubber cables and put them into huge flight bags. There were hundreds of them and they had to carry them up and down all the stairs. It was midnight by the time they'd finished. At the after party I had a lovely dance with the girls who make the costumes. We danced to some music that I've never heard before and they could do all these brilliant moves. We really had lots of fun, though I'd taken my Spice Girl outfit off by the point girl Power Debbie. Dressed as a Spice Girl to perform her samba at Blackpool we've got two dances this week. Our routine is the Argentine tango and everyone has to take to the floor at the same time in a Paso Doblethon. Giovanni's been worried as we're a day behind in training. After the emotion of Blackpool, my brain wouldn't work. I was completely drained and I'm still struggling with my back, but I won't give in. I was in a fair bit of pain when we practiced our lifts. We've got two, but I just bit my lip. That said, I'm feeling good about this week. Giovanni is also under pressure because he's never danced an Argentine tango before, so former Strictly Pro Vincent Simone has helped to choreograph our routine. It was lovely, because when my husband Paul did Strictly, it was Vincent who he became good friends with. He told me that Paul showed him lots of magic tricks and they laughed a lot. We're dancing to a traditional tango song called Por Una Cabeza. This piece of music completely stirs me and I love the violins in it. I was listening to it the other night and all of a sudden there were tears rolling down my cheeks. It's very emotive. I'd describe our routine as elegant and sensual, a bit like our rumba. The leg flicks have to be timed perfectly. I've got a scratch and a couple of bruises on my ankle. Let's just say that Giovanni's got far more than that's strictly come. Dancing is on BBC One on Saturday at 6.50pm. Debbie McGee was talking to Rachel Ward.